Hi guys. Um Hi guys. Hi everyone. I've been getting you guys messages. I've been getting the calls. I am really sorry. I can't talk to anybody right now. I just don't want to talk to anybody. Uh it's been the darkest 15 hours of my life the darkest july started off very nicely july started off really nicely only for it to start getting worse at the end so yesterday I was really off like I was totally off my mood was just off I got to work before then I woke up really late it has never happened to me since I got to Dubai I, I woke up really late and uh, I'm sorry my voice is shaking because yeah so I got to work, I messaged my brother, I messaged everybody, check up on them like I usually do, and everybody was fine. Yeah. I closed from work, got back. On my way back, I was already sending a voice note to my best friend, trying to explain the situation of things and my sister, because she's always asking about my sister. Gloria, I love you so much. I love you so very much. Thank you for being the best friend that I have been wanting all my life. Thank you for everything. Thank you for constantly checking on me this few hours. I appreciate you. So I was sending a voice note to my best friend. And the, as I was getting into the room, the Wi-Fi connected and a call came in from my other sister so because my vpn was not on i could not pick the call so i had to chill and allow the call to end so i could text her a message so the voice note even had to cut in between the voice note i was sending to gloria you had to cut in between and trust me I was just mentioning my sister. I was just talking about my sister to Gloria. I got to my bed, knelt down, trying to, because I was having cramps. So I was trying to like go through my chats, trying to message my sister also because the call was constant. I opened our chat and I just saw. <laughs> And I just saw Ngozi Ife Iwa has left us. I dropped everything that I had on me and I was numb for like five minutes. I'm like, she has to be playing, right? Because I just spoke to her last week and she was sounding really cool. She even stood up herself. She came out of the door by herself. She did all of this by herself. <laughs> but to call my kid brother I called him and he was sounding okay I'm like okay what is going on you guys should not make me go crazy okay he was trying to hide it I just told him I've heard the news is it true what happened and he said it's true <laughs> So, there's this thing that happened in our house, yeah? We are nine in numbers. My mom, my dad. I have three brothers and three sisters. Plus me. That's seven kids with my parents. Whenever anything wants to happen, we always have the feeling. We 
always have to feel it. That was why my mood was off. That was why I woke up late. That was why I was so eager to talk to my family. That was why I was so eager to know what my sister is feeling. But she's good. I spoke to my mom and my dad yesterday. <laughs> Even though they sounded all cool because the sickness has been there for the longest. <laughs> my sister has been fighting for the longest. <laughs> People see me and think that I am a happy child. People see me and think that I'm all jovial. I'm this kind of person. I'm that. <laughs> but trust me. Everybody is going through something that they don't even want to talk about. <laughs> My sister has been fighting this thing. She has been fighting so bad. She has been fighting. She has been fighting. <laughs> she has been fighting this thing. <laughs> and I still don't know if I'm to question God. <laughs> because why would it take her now that she is feeling better? Why would we take her now that she's feeling much better? <laughs> Why? <laughs> In as much as I really want to book the next flight to go to Nigeria right now, I know she would not be happy with me. She would not. Because when I got back from China, unannounced, she was really mad at me. She's like, why am I coming back to this country? Then I even went back and I had no plans. So imagine me going back now. What if something happens? <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. It's really hard. But this is the only way that I can mourn my sister right now. I don't know if I'm ever going to upload this video. But if I do, you guys should please understand that I have never done this before. And if there is one biggest thing that has been my greatest fear in my life. It has to be losing someone close to me. And the closest people in my life. Uh, my family. That's why I have a tattoo here. I don't joke with my family. I don't joke with my family. <laughs> I know everybody has been saying I should stay strong. I should be strong. I'm trying because obviously there is no family here, there is nobody I could run to, there is no single family that could check up on me and all of that. But regardless, I'm going to be fine, if not for anything. But the fact that I know that if she was here, she would have stoned me with her slippers, that I am always crying like a fool. So I'm going to be strong. My sister left July 25th, 2022. Today is 26. Today is 26 and I did care if they were dead. I want to use this medium to say thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for constantly checking on me, even when you are not feeling so strong. Thank you for being one of the best sisters ever. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you. Even though I won't get to see you again, but I know you are in a better place. You are in a safer place. 
and though i have so many questions to ask god (laughs) but i know he's there and he's watching over you and you are watching over us thank you so much i love you forever (laughs) this is so hard because i'm someone that is always against people crying on camera i never knew it was going to hit me i wouldn't have done this if i was in nigeria because i would have been with my family but since i'm not with them this is the only way that i can mourn my sister i don't know when i'm going to post this video but regardless i just want you guys to pray for me I just want you guys to pray for my family. I want you guys to pray for my parents, most especially, because it takes the grace of God for any parent to survive after losing a child. Not just a baby, a grown-up child. She's my second sister. You can imagine her age. It takes the grace of God. So, uh, yeah... I got off work they asked me to go back and rest because obviously my roommate had everything the way I was crying the way I was screaming last night and uh, when they were asked she told them because I couldn't even speak I couldn't say anything so she already told them about it and I'll be taking today and tomorrow off I'll try and stay positive I'll try and do things that she's going to be happy with me doing i don't have much pictures with my sister because she was never a picture person she was before until the whole sickness thing and she really does not want anyone to take any random pictures of her so we don't really have any good pictures of her um they're going to take her to the village to bury her which i won't be there i've never attended a burial before this would have been my opportunity but not like opportunity this would have been an unfortunate thing but it's well okay everybody is going to smile at the end because i believe that she is in heaven and she's watching over every one of us that is my belief sister fi gallant Tititi, like I used to call you, I really don't know what Christmas get-together is going to be without you. I don't know who is going to bake daddy's birthday cake. I don't know who is going to bake mommy's birthday cake. I don't know who is going to cook for the family. But I want you to know that we all love you so much. And we pray that your soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. I love you so much, Sister Ify. And I want you to watch over Daddy and Mommy, most especially. I want you to watch over them. We are going to be good. You've gone. We are going to be good. We've been fighting. For the past how many years it's 2013 we are going to be good i love you so much